Apple's new M2 Macs have finally been revealed, including the totally redesigned MacBook Air, which I am extremely excited to get my hands on and start testing. But over the past week, we've been getting more and more leaks and rumors about Apple's upcoming Macs for the rest of this year and even getting into early next year. So in this video, I'm gonna share all of those brand new leaks and when they are gonna be coming. And I'm gonna be putting a bunch of puzzle pieces together, including older leaks, which perfectly add up to these new ones. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now you might remember earlier this year when Apple registered three new Macs in the Eurasian database ahead of their March event. And according to the actual filing, there was one new laptop product and two new desktop Macs, which one of those ended up being the Mac Studio with a model number A2615. But unfortunately, we didn't see those other two models get released until this month. Yes, one of those was the M2 MacBook Air, which was the sole laptop within those filings, which we think is A2615. Now, yes, Apple did also release the M2 MacBook Pro, but because it uses the same exact chassis and no design change, it actually does not require a new EEC filing because those filings are only for new chassis designs. So that basically leaves us with A2686, which is a desktop Mac, which Apple has still not released yet. And in my opinion, that is the M2 Mac Mini. And the main reason I believe this is because back in March, Mark Gurman actually tweeted that Apple was testing the M2 chip, which we just got, but he also said that a new Mac mini is ready to go and it could also launch soon, while at the same time saying that the iMac Pro and Mac Pro is not shipping soon. And even after the event, he tweeted again in April saying that Apple is testing nine new M2 based Macs, including a new M2 Mac mini. And since we already got two out of those three EEC filing Mac models, including the Mac Studio and the M2 MacBook Air, I believe that coming this fall, potentially in October or November, Apple is gonna be releasing the redesigned Mac Mini. And the reason I believe that is because I think Apple is limiting their redesigns or new designs to one per event. So only one new design, per event, which is the key to how Apple is releasing their new products. So let me explain why. Well, last year, starting in April, Apple released their M2 iMac, and they just focused on that iMac alone because it was a new design. Then fall 2021, they released their new MacBook Pro designs, the 14 and 16 inch. Then in March, they released the Soul Mac Studio, and then in June, they released the MacBook Air redesign while also giving us the same M2 MacBook Pro design. So I think they could have released the M2 Mac Mini at the WWDC event, but they chose not to because they would have two brand new redesigns in the same event, which they don't wanna do. They wanna have the spotlight on one redesign at a time. So with that said, that's why I think the M2 Mac Mini is gonna be coming this fall. Now let's move on to the rest of the Apple lineup that we should expect. Just the other day, Mark Gurman gave us another bombshell leak report saying that the M2 Pro slash Max MacBook Pros could come as soon as the end of this year or early next year. And not only that, he's expecting a 15 inch MacBook Air for next year and Apple is also working on a new 12 inch laptop. So before I break all of that down, the first thing I wanna talk about is the 15 inch MacBook Air, which is gonna be absolutely insane. Well, first of all, Ross Young replied to Mark's tweet and he said that the 15 inch MacBook Air is gonna have a 15.2 inch display, which basically implies that it's also gonna have a notch, which totally makes sense. Now you might think it's weird for Apple to make a 15 inch MacBook Air, but I actually think it's genius because I believe Apple is pushing their iPhone lineup strategy over to their MacBooks. 
For example, if you've been following the leaks for the iPhone 14 lineup, there should be a regular iPhone 14 and a 14 Max, which has identical specs, but with a larger size and display, while at the same time having a 14 Pro and then a 14 Pro Max, which has the same specs, but again, a larger display for a more expensive price. And as you can see right here in my tweet, I believe Apple is doing that with a 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air with a lower price. So the same specs, just a larger size with more battery life. And then they have the higher end lineup, which is the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro with the higher price, but identical specs. And I actually ended up asking Ross Young about this idea, saying that it's gonna be basically the same situation as the 14 slash 16 inch MacBook Pro, identical specs, larger size. And he said, yes, from a display standpoint, as far as I know. So he kind of agrees with that in terms of the display. And according to Mark Gurman, he believes that the 15 inch MacBook Air could be released in early 2023 at a planned spring event, which basically points to it having identical specs to the current new MacBook Air, but with that larger size. But now it's time to move on to the crazy 12 inch MacBook that Apple is working on. And literally the day after Mark Gurman's report about the 12 inch MacBook, we got another huge leak saying that the 12 inch MacBook could come with an M2 Pro and M2 Max chip launching at the end of 2023 or early in 2024, which kind of points to it coming with an M3 chip. However, literally the day after Mark Gurman's report about the 12 inch MacBook, we got another leak saying that it could come with an M2 Pro or M2 Max chip option, which sounds absolutely insane. And this leak actually came from Majin Boo on Twitter, and this is what he said. It's gonna get released in 2023, and he doesn't know the processor yet, but it is supposed to be equipped with M2 Pro and M2 Max, suggesting that it could join the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro lineup. Now to me, that sounds absolutely insane, but Majin Boo has actually been correct quite a bit. Check this out. Only a few days ago, he made a leak saying that Apple is developing a new 14.1 inch iPad M2 with 512 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of base memory, and that it's supposed to be joining the 11 inch model with no major changes and a new 12.9 inch model with reduced bezels. And the crazy thing about Majin Buu's leak is that Ross Young came out the next day confirming that the 14.1 inch iPad Pro is being developed, saying that early 2023 may be more likely in terms of the timing. So he confirmed Majin Boo's leak, which is awesome because Ross Young was totally correct about the 13.6 inch M2 MacBook Air display size. And not only that, but Mark Gurman came out and agreed with Ross Young and Majin Boo saying that there could be a 14.1 inch iPad Pro, which he has leaked way earlier in terms of Apple making a new larger size iPad. But in my opinion, I think it actually makes more sense for this new 12 inch MacBook to come with an M3 chip instead, because those M1 Pro and Max chips use a ton of power and they get very hot. Even the 14 inch was already thermal throttling. So I can't see Apple putting an M2 Pro or M2 Max into a 12 inch. But now let's get into the last Last Mac that we could be expecting this year, and that is the Mac Pro. Going back to Mark Gurman's tweet from April 14th, he said that Apple is testing at least nine new M2 based Macs, including a Mac Pro. So let's jump right into those leaks. As we all know, Apple gave us a very interesting teaser at their March event. Listen up. Making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. The Mac Pro, so what he's talking about is the Apple Silicon transition because in June of 2020, Apple announced that it will take them two years to transition all of their Macs over to Apple Silicon, and that transition ends in November because that is when they first announced 
the M1 Max. So two years after that is November of 2022. So my prediction is that this November, we have an Apple event where Apple reveals and launches the Mac Pro, and I think it's gonna start shipping in December. So here's a little bit of evidence for that prediction. Back in March, Majin Buu made a crazy leak where he said that there is gonna be a new 2022 Mac Pro, and the processor code name is Redfern, and he at the time thought it was gonna be coming in September, but I think it makes more sense to come in December, and he showed off the Ultra Fusion links that Apple is gonna be using to connect four different dies. So this is a crazy leak that he showed off, and I believe it's true, and I believe it's coming, because many months ago, on January 2nd, 2022, Mark Gurman actually said that he expected Apple to finish announcing its transition to its own silicon from Intel chips as early as June at WWDC. Now that did not happen, so I think we are gonna see that finish out later this year in November, and Mark Gurman certainly agrees. And not only that, but Ross Young has been leaking a new 27-inch Mini LED Pro Studio display, which he thought was gonna get announced in June, alongside a new Mac Pro, which he said, yes, that is our thinking, but later he came out and said that it has been delayed due to the Shanghai lockdowns and that production is being moved to a different location, saying that it could be an October release. And that is why I believe Apple didn't say anything about the Mac Pro at WWDC because they wanted to release this new display alongside the Mac Pro. And because of that, I think Apple is holding off and they're gonna wait until November. So. That was a huge video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you disagree with any of my thoughts, comment them down below. But if you enjoyed the video, click the circle button to subscribe for more videos like this one. Definitely check one out right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.